he just shoot him and he dies. <laughs> Even our cup also deals so much damage. What the heck? <laughs> our cup has is laced with bomb. Hi, how's it going everyone? Today we have quite an interesting build. We managed to get bomb stone, so on use the item gets destroyed. So our weapons get destroyed whenever we use it, but the good thing is that we get 500% bonus damage. So we are running it with Archer's Wand. So we can create ethereal arrows using our mana here. Then we can keep generating these arrows and we can just use it to deal 18 damage. It feels kind of tedious, but overall it seems pretty interesting and quite fun. And we also managed to get Robot Toy, which is absolutely insane in the early game all the way to floor 9 because we are doing 13 damage which is quite sizable when you look at the enemy's health which is like about 60, it's about 1 6, 1 5, pretty, pretty, pretty high, pretty high here. So let us just start shall we? Uh, we'll use this to kill the slime, maybe we can get uh, one more to kill it. And we are also running kind of a defensive build here. Uh, we have like two, two spike helmet. Is that great? Not too sure, but I think our build right now doesn't deal as much damage as I want it to be. Even though we have our bomb stone that deals five hundred percent bonus damage, so you know it's a toss up. I suppose we will we will see how it goes. If we can if we can find like the that 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 sword right, that big sword, the ethereal sword, that would be nice to try out as well. Okay, cool. Uh, and we also have our slime sword. You didn't know. <laughs> Just now, early in the game, I used a slime sword. So the good thing about slime sword is that whenever we use it, we it destroys, we get it back. So that's not too bad. It would be great if we can have like multiple slime swords. So they just click, 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 click. Then the game ends. Then we get all all of it back. <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Let's just drink some water. We can kill this first with the slime sword. Then we can just throw the cups, throw it at him to break the dodge. Put one here, fire at the slime. Put one here. Okay, one more. I need to get a better bow for sure. <laughs> and we need to. I don't know, man. The game is like. There's no way to speed up this process. I need to create my arrow one by one. <laughs> Maybe you can grab that. Is there any... Okay, there's no locked areas. Maybe you can grab this first and we look and we see what what surfaces in the next in the next stage. Hang on a minute. We are fighting the boss, right? I suppose we are fighting the boss? Not too sure. Yeah, I think we are fighting the boss. So we don't need this. Uh... We need to figure how to work this out. Okay, hopefully we don't die. Okay, this should be fairly easy if we just keep blocking. One, two, three, four. Lower its attack. We just need to stall out. Like this is quite easy. We just need to stall the game. And then our spike will do the work. And once his spike is low enough, we can use our slime sword. I think it's still not low enough, I feel. I think the next round we can try and attack him because the next round is yeah this is the the, the part where he has low low attack right but it's fine i mean we are just pressing it all the way right yeah he has zero now so we can just attack there's not much calculation that needs to be done if you are a, a bit impatient you can you can try and calculate take things into into account but otherwise i think all is good i think you can try and kill him here the good thing is that our robot toy and our spike is doing the work as well Nice. So our two ethereal one wait ethereal arrow bombs shoot and explode. Shoot and explode. Fire. Okay, nice. I can imagine how tedious the process would be <laughs> if we get a hawk eye or a or a long bow or something. <laughs> then then it's like we have to what craft four arrows? Like what the heck man? Four arrows. This is ridiculous. This item gets minus one damage. All weapons get plus two hundred percent bonus. Okay, okay. Seems to go well with <laughs> our bomb stone. I mean, we are all we are kind of like a one-time usage kind of thing, right? 
yeah i think this is fine for now i might be wrong for throwing this away but i think i would like to go with this because i haven't used this at all and i have no intentions because we still need to rely on our block sometimes oh uh, let's just go ahead so you know we are in a position where we are using half block using our spike and we try to delay the game to use our robot toy to, to deal enough damage right so that doesn't really make sense because like the book makes sense if we are using a metallic wand where we try to blast down our opponent so this is going to be a challenging part where we are facing against the giant monsters 48 damage not bad uh, I suppose with the two empty space, our arrow should deal more damage. I hope so. How much? 48. Nice. Uh, let me just try and fire. Okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. One more. Oh, I think the hourglass and the bomb stone is a match made in heaven, man. Oh, we get back our slime. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that we can just run all slime swords. But it's not possible. We haven't found a, a second slime sword. Then you can just keep generating. Just press, 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 press. This is not too bad. I like this. This is something that I'm looking, looking for. I want something that is cheaper. Even though we are not using this right now, I feel that we're going to use it in the future. And this is... Uh, our King Joe armor is pretty good too. It can allow us to grant like give us enough block right but right now we are just very torn we are split apart by either we want block or we want to attack all the way and we i don't think we have the ability to kill our opponent but i mean obviously we did just now so maybe we just lean in hard to to destroying our enemy let me just grab this uh let's go here we will get some refreshments try and kill the the snake here even our cup also deals so much damage. What the heck? <laughs> our cup has is laced with bomb. And our hourglass. I don't know what, what the hourglass does that increases the damage. How much is this? It's not worth it to, 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 to use it on this though. Okay. So since we have the tome, right, we don't need a mana stone already, right? We can just throw away that mana stone just now. The lack of Two space, right? It has greatly reduced my my damage by quite a fair bit. That's slightly concerning. Uh, let me just grab one of them. But it's okay. We 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 can just just use this food if there's a need to. Uh, just kill this. Shoot! Nice. Oh, longbow! Oh my god! How are you gonna run this, man? God damn it! Am I gonna go all in? I'm so scared, man. I'm so scared. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck it. What the fuck? <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. Do we still need a slime sword? I'm just wondering. Okay, let me just take out the spike helmet first. I need to rearrange everything, so I guess I will cut this part. I, I think I'm gonna cut my, my, my shield here. Lean in hard to all offense. Pure offense pure offense here because we really need we really need to leverage on the bonus damage here you can obviously see the difference between uh the first round where we fight the lizards where we were able to deal 48 damage per arrow because we have two empty spots so can you imagine how much it will scale up so we are kind of like you know um putting ourselves on the back foot and we are not going to run slime sword anymore because slime sword only deals 48 damage but if you can generate three arrows that would be perfect isn't it Okay, we okay we end up with no space again. Uh, crap. Let me think. We can eat. We can eat this away, and we can grab more space. Okay, I think this is good for now. Yeah, this is good. No thanks. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this out, man. God damn it. Okay, let's drink some water. Throw the cup. <laughs> Forty-eight damage cup. Uh. Okay, one, two. How much damage is that? Look at this, look at this difference. A one space difference, right? We get 48 damage. Zero space 24. What the heck? Jesus. This is madness, man. 
So we really need to open up our space and maybe we can try and find the white color energy token or the red color energy token that can give us more energy without the use of like any of this nonsense, right? Okay, nice. We just shoot him and he dies. <laughs> uh, I think we change things up here. Oh no, this is nice, this is nice. And I realized something, I realized something. We, we can just run this, right? This is perfect, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Because I was wondering, we can just spam all the weapons. You can get, you can pick out as much weapons as possible. But the weird thing is we need to, we can only leverage on zero cost weapons. Like zero energy weapons. That's the only way it will work. Okay, I think this is fine for now. Uh, let us just fight this. Then we can use this to deal what? 64 damage! 64 damage! 64 damage! Hey! Hey wait, hang on a minute, I can't use it 3 times! Shit! <laughs> well, it's fine, it's fine. I'm hoping I can level up here, so that I can get like, additional empty space for my... for my things. Hey! What if we run mana stone bow? But I think we need to try and look ahead. You can shoot four arrow, why not, right? <laughs> why settle for less? I think this is good for now. Oh. Eh no, I'm okay, actually it doesn't matter whether is it a weapon smith or a shield smith or whatever it is. Because we are not using a shield and our weapon disappear. <laughs> so this is just redundant for us. God damn it, how much is this? 12 damage, nice. No, it's still 12 damage, it's not much. Uh, let me just grab this. 3 arrows to kill all that. I don't even need to use that energy actually. Because I'm quite sure 3 energy is enough to kill. Kill like, you see, 1 energy is enough to kill them. 1 energy is enough. Our arrows have a bomb. Okay, cool. Uh, what is this? I thought this was Hercule Purvis for a moment. Right now, I think we are good. At one point, we might just cut this. Because this 13 damage is not much, right? In consideration that, you know, the difference is such a big... Like, it's such a big difference, right? Between having one space and not having one space at all. Look at this. So the difference is like, almost half. If we cut this, right? Like, it might it might be more worthwhile, right? If you, if you, if you look at it that way. Yeah, I think I might just cut this. We want to up our damage by quite a fair bit. I think once we hit floor 9, right, there's no reason to run this anymore because this, this does very very well early game. By the late game, damage, like the health is gonna scale so highly that we can't even we can't even compete at all. Nice. So two more levels, two more levels, and we are good to go. Uh let's go here and grab one. Hey. For a moment, I was so scared. How can I come put it back? <laughs> How can I come put it back? Okay, nice. It's 48. Oh, this is slightly lesser. Iteral arrow is much better. Oh no, because it was slightly lesser, I we couldn't kill him. Damn it. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, we can kill it. So it was, I think the, the original arrow that's not Iteral is not as great as our Iteral arrow. We have four more left, right? Yep, that's perfect. I think right now we might run into an issue where we do not have enough energy. So if we are fighting a big boss, right, where we can't one-hit kill the big boss, we have to use our tome to generate more mana. And and this might put us in a weird position where where we are we are like put between both sides, right? We need to use our energy to generate mana and at the same time we need energy to fire our longbow. Which is not exactly the ideal situation that I'm looking for here. Oh, this is free, so we just grab that. Yeah, I need to remember anything that costs zero, we should take, and then we can we can just throw it at, at our opponent. Yep, I think it was a good choice. Let me just grab two. I can't wait for my for my backpack to expand, man. I need to fire four arrows at once, and I think once we are able to fire four arrows, we should be able to, like. Like kill a lot of people but i think even if we can fire four arrows we also need to take into consideration of like empty spaces right right now we are just in a very awkward 
space where we don't have any place for a fourth arrow and we don't have an empty space as well yeah i might just throw away that wait is there a merchant down the line yep i will throw i will just sell sell my my robot toy is there a question mark oh maybe we visit the question mark first and see whether it's a trader we might be able to trade our legendary item for maybe something better okay he's gonna summon more okay that's kind of challenging so this really puts our build to the test because right now we are fighting somebody that we can't one hit kill yeah i think right now right the only solution is that we 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 expand our space here and hopefully we can do that after we kill him oh was that not enough jeez that wasn't enough how much damage is that and just hit one more time is he gonna run away yes perfect okay finally more space uh wait three spaces so right right now i think the best way would be to move it here so everything can come down one one space it's like our arrow here can take can can get additional bonus damage here and hopefully we can expand three more then we are all good to go let me just grab this okay I don't need any life steal. Let me just go to the question mark first and see whether we can trade anything. Now this is interesting. Okay, it's fine. We will, we will sell away the... We will sell away this. Let's sell this away. Oh, zero cost we will take. Anything that is zero cost is good. Let's go for this. And this is zero cost as well. We will take it. I mean, we have so much gold. We haven't spent on anything yet. Okay, let me just move over here. And we want to rearrange things a little. Maybe do we have to rearrange things? Let me just put it here. Put this over here. Oh, okay. This is wrong spacing. Okay, this is good. So we can just <laughs> use all of our zero cost weapon to kill our opponent. Okay. 24 damage, not bad. 16 damage, ah, it's fine. 48 damage. A single cup, you know. <laughs> I think you throw it to your head, you will just concuss. And you'll just like die immediately. So right now we are able to deal 150 damage I suppose because 48 each right with empty spaces with one empty space yep 48 each nice let me just put it here so we can one hit kill a 200 health creature we need to look for um cleansing bomb I realize I haven't found a single cleansing bomb which is highly unfortunate and I'm very very scared right now if you are fighting the chunky knight later on. Because his, his spikes is gonna kill us for sure. His spikes is gonna literally blow us away. There's no way we can win this. Uh, For now I think this is fine. Okay this is not the... Okay this is not a chunky boy. The chunky boy is another name grandmaster is the is the is a slightly easier one let me grab this i realized something my magical herb is it in the wrong placement it has to be connected jesus this is annoying man take one how much is this 72 oh my god i realized something every single space right it's times two you know times two times two times two oh no we really need to expand the whole space here damn it i think we are good for now are we able to kill him here i think let me just take three energy first i i just gotta I screw this man like I, i'm not gonna reorganize for that you should be able to deal quite a fair bit of damage with this can we one hit kill him how much is this 96 72 72 oh okay that was not too bad let me just put this arrow here we should be able to kill him right <laughs> uh the bomb build works the bomb build works times our, our power of time hourglass with bombs do we really want this at all at one energy i think it's fine for now this boss should be quite easy to deal with Okay, thank god it's not a lizard. No, it's not the one that has spike. That's the worst. Okay, just drink everything, it's fine. Doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> we might have to use our book. 
for once. Thank god I managed to get this book, man. This book is probably the better one. Like, even though the previous warrior spell book was, like, rare, but it, it takes up so much mana. No, it takes up so much energy to create 4 mana, which doesn't really make much sense. And at the same time, in order for me to utilize its weapon bonus damage, I need to I need to put it beside, like, our items, right? Beside our arrow. So it, it's going to screw up with my... Wait, but, but does it have to be... be surrounded by the weapons in order for you to give the bonus? I can't remember, man. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. But it felt like 2 mana was a bit... 2 energy was a bit too much for me. And I felt that whenever I run... I run that spell book, it never felt great. It's like it feels a bit clunky. Because you are... You, you only have 3 energy at the start. And then whenever you use that spell book, you are not fully utilizing every single thing, right? Like this, at least I can use 3 energy. I can expand all my energy to to convert all of them to mana. But the spell book, that warrior spell book can't do that at all. Probably should have just ate all of the food first before I fire. Because that would, that would have been more damage, right? Should we eat the 21 damage here? How much are we dealing here? I think we can kill him. Like why 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 do this to ourselves, right? Yeah, why why take damage when we can kill the opponent? Because I wanted to finish the stake so that I can get extra space to kill the opponent. But that doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> uh, now this is good though. Damn it. If you can run a shield build, why not, right? I'm just wondering. If you run a shield, then we use the shield to activate the arrows. Does that make sense? And then we can shield ourselves at the same time. Can can shield utilize arrows? If I, if I didn't remember wrongly, it can, right? Why not? Why not just try it out for now? Okay, let's go here. We can, we can see that the, the enemies have a significant upgrade, which is not a very good thing. Like, they are, like there's a significant upgrade in terms of health. And one hit is not enough to kill it anymore with, a, with two, four additional space, which is highly unfortunate. I don't think we are going to get a level up anytime soon to expand on our space, which is not a very good thing. This is terrible. If possible, right, we want to try out the, the shield build. So we can shield ourselves. And at the same time, we can we can hopefully, you know, like fire the arrow. And make use of the arrow's damage, right? Hang on a second. When the arrow to the right kills an enemy, add one dodge to self. Why, why am I not getting dodge? I, I, I realized something. I'm not getting dodge at all. Is this a bug? Just so when I killed that enemy, I didn't get dodge, isn't it? Like, I should have a dodge now, because we are still in the same round. So is that a bug? Hey, that's a bug, man. What the heck? I shouldn't have been hit by this, right? This should be the perfect run. Oh, I forgot about this, because I thought this was another bow. Like, there was this bow that adds plus 2 damage to whatever that is to the right, that is legendary as well. When arrow to the right kills an enemy. God damn it. Yeah, there's no... Where's my dodge? Where's my dodge? Wait, wait, am I reading things wrongly? When an arrow to the right kills an enemy, which it did, add one dodge to self. If it explodes, and so that means I don't get it? Probably should report this bug on Discord. Hopefully I'm not an idiot. Like maybe I was wrong or something. Okay, I think this is a do or die moment. I think there's a good chance we might die. Uh... How much are we stabbing it for? 16 damage, not too bad. Stab. 2. 3. Should we just throw away our goal? <laughs> Should we just throw away our goal, right? <laughs> we, have, we are out of items and we are out of items to kill. We, we can't do any one hit kill anymore. Guys, this is the end of our our bomb build but at least it was fun man it was fun to try it out maybe we should just try it one time i'm gonna save scum i know i'm gonna die from this but i'm gonna save scum and see how it goes to, to try and remove all of these things and we just go with a bare minimal of like nine nine energy no three six nine yeah so three six nine twelve okay we go with twelve energy 
then we everything is empty space and we see how far this can go we'll see how this goes and we, we will test it out the good thing about this is at least you can save scum and we can we can still try other situations right like instead of just losing yep we died anyway it was fun time to save scum okay we cut this we cut this uh okay we are good so how much damage can we do here can we kill the enemy how much are we dealing 120 have i been <laughs> have i been doing it wrong okay it's still a challenge though and we did not manage to find the shield that we wanted like if we can use the shield and try and activate the arrow that might have worked right and think about it if we had gotten the dodge we could have won as well if we could have gotten the if we gotten that dodge we could have won this game easily we got three dodge here you know yeah I'm, I'm dead i'm dead where's my dodge where's my dodge anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and i guess if you are interested please subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time